Hey, what's up guys? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are Sean Diddy Combs, it looks like, or if I should say you are Diddy's attorney, Sean Holly, baby, Sean Holly going to Sean Holly. They have responded to some of the things in Little Rod's lawsuit and baby, <laughs> I have to laugh. Do you know that they are saying that the two women, two women have come forward and say they were falsely ID'd as underage. Now, let me just say this, right? This is classic Sean Holly. She follows the same blueprint in every case. She followed this blueprint, in my opinion, it's my opinion, based upon information and belief, in the Tory Lane streets. She followed this in the Chris Brown. She does this in every case she is involved with. It's the same M.O. if you pay attention to her. She is the master of making random straw man arguments. Okay? Now listen to this. They said Diddy's attorney says a couple of individuals who are identified as minors in the salacious lawsuit filed against Diddy were not minors at all. They're full grown women. She tells TMZ the two women have come forward to clear their air after they saw their images included in Rodney Jones' explosive legal claim from Monday, where he alleged everything under the sun against Diddy, including claims of girls partying underage. Now, here's the photos. These are the photos included in Little Rod's lawsuit that purported to show a party that Diddy threw last summer in LA. And some of the images show Diddy and his son Justin around some women with captions characterizing them as minors. The suit even blurs the women's faces, blacks them out completely, actually. Perhaps in an attempt to lead credence to the notion they're underage, but Holly tells us the two women depicted are anything but. She goes on to say, listen to this mess. For starters, she tells us the women depicted in the screenshot of Diddy have actually come forward to set her to, to set the record straight as she feels she's been grossly mislabeled as have the circumstances under which she was in Diddy's company that night. Holly tells us the woman's name is Chelsea. She's 33 years old. Um, and who has a child. We're told Chelsea does not want to publicly reveal her full identity, hoping to maintain her and her family's privacy amid this whole mess. But we're told she insists that she's what, that that's her 100% in the pick. More importantly, TMZ says that they've been provided a photo of Chelsea, which we're told shows her in the same bodysuit outfit she was apparently wearing in the photo included in Little Rod's lawsuit. TMZ blurred her face in the, this photo, right? Out of respect for her privacy. But the bottom line here is that Chelsea is saying that she's not in the picture with Diddy and she's definitely not a minor. Y'all, let's stop right there because I have to laugh. Now listen, nothing has been independently verified or denied. I mean, verified or proven in a court of law. These are allegations in a court document. Little Rod stood on business. Sean Hawley has not entered anything official into the court of law, be it a response, she has 30 days to make it, or any affidavits. And she did not mention that these two late, <clears throat> these two ladies that claim it's not them are going to show up in court. But can I say this? Can I say this? What a coinky dink. What a coinky dink. What a Sean Holly coinky dink. A coincidence. Okay? There are pictures of a girl with her face blacked out. Can I just say, Diddy has hundreds of parties. Hundreds of parties. You cannot tell what this girl is wearing. It looks like she is wearing something dark, no pattern, completely dark. You don't know whether she's wearing a onesie, a skirt, a dress, a shirt. You can't tell from the picture. And her face is entirely blacked out, entirely blacked out. Okay. The fact that Diddy, who has hundreds of parties a year with a face blacked out, you mean to tell me that some random girl less than 12 hours after this was filed, remembers and Diddy remembers the exact moment in time where you put your arms around Diddy's neck at the exact moment in time. You don't know when the party took place. You don't know anything, but you know, that's you. What a coincidence. 
You're talking about the girl in the pic is now 33 years old. What a coincidence that a woman who you have her face blacked out. Again, this is Pierre Sean Holly. You pick some random girl, right? Which sounds like some made up stuff. No, it was me. But the girl that's saying, no, it was me. How do you know that's you? Out of all the parties, a moment in time, you remember that? Baby, this ain't a Korean drama. Out of all the random people, not only does she remember it, but Diddy remembers, "Uh uh-huh, that was you, the 33-year-old. Y'all, Sean Holly is the queen of making random straw men arguments. Things are not adding up. Blurred. The picture is completely blurred out. Random people, a random moment in time. I do want to say, and this is just me being nitpicky, this girl's supposed to be wearing the same outfit, but the girl, there's a pattern on the outfit. And if you see it, even though there's a hard red light on, everything that is not black or dark is like shows up in the red light. Hence the red, you can tell everybody else that got patterns on their stuff. This girl's wearing a pattern once you can't even tell what the girl in the picture with the blacked out face is actually wearing. So you, again, she is the master of straw men arguments. You pick up a random person. You pick, you, you literally say, that's not her. Because this, no, you literally are saying, no, this girl's come out and saying, you lied. I'm not under age. I'm 33. Ma'am, who said it was you? Who said it was you? What proof is there is you? Besides the guilty person that is being accused of partying with underage. Who said, who said that was you? And the only, and you've offered no proof. Sean Holly's offered no proof. Just a pick. And it don't even look like she's wearing the same outfit. But even if she was, who is this person? No one said it was her. Do you see how they are already starting with the games? No, that's a lie. That's not her. She, no, no, that's a lie. That's her. But she's not underage. She's 33. See, 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 we caught them in a lie. We caught them in a lie. Nobody said that was her. The only person saying that's her is Diddy. Why is Diddy saying that? Because if it's not her, if it's not her, baby, you just caught, got caught dead to rights again. I'm sick of this. No one said it was that girl. Nobody said it was a 33-year-old. You can't even tell. Awfully suspicious. Let me tell y'all something. I said it once and I'll say it again. Time will tell. Time will honestly tell. Because as much as they want to release stuff in the blogs and get straw men people, no, look, it, it, she, she's not underage, she's 33, but nobody said it was that girl. Now you want the public to, discord, to, to debate on whether or not this girl is 33 or whether or not. No, no one said that was her. The only person saying that this is the, thir- the woman pictured and she's 33 is the person that's guilty, maybe. Well, I don't know if he's guilty, but he's being accused of the crime. All I will say is we got to see what happens in the court of law. I do want to say this, and this is something really, really important. Were there any underage girls there or any of them consuming alcohol? And if you weren't underage, and I, this, I don't even believe that's the girl in the picture because you can't tell what she's wearing. You can't tell anything. Why would somebody at a random party, but they said underage girls and blank workers. Is this girl Chelsea a blank worker? I got a feeling she might be. And I got a feeling little Rod might have gone in with that ditty cap and hired her. Because at the end of the day, I think, this is my opinion, I think that's what Diddy's afraid of. I think that's what Sean Hawley is trying to confuse. But like she did in the Tory Lanez trial, baby, let's see what happens. Because we saw what happened with that misinformation campaign that went with Tory Lanez. Baby, uh, Little Rod's lawyer, Tyrone A. Black Firm, issued a statement. He said... We reached out to Little Rod's attorney, Tyrone Blackburn, who didn't get specific on the new info, but tells TMZ, thanks to Sean Hawley, Sean Combs and Justin Combs are on a fast track to the same fate as Tory Lanez and Danny Masterman. That was also her client. I don't know, y'all, what y'all think. Let me know in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.